Good Monday morning, lads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Dylan Mack, and this is your KWHS News. In Counseling Center news, juniors interested in attending CSU Fort Collins after graduation, their admission schemes will be here this Friday at 11 a.m. in Lower Commons. To attend this visit, you must be passing your fourth hour class. Stop by the Counseling Center to sign up. Next week on Tuesday, April 24th, the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will bring their presentation to the Whitefield High School Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. You can expect to hear about life as a cadet and how to successfully fully navigate the admissions process. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors interested or even slightly curious about attending the academy. Bring your parents and join them for this presentation. Recent academy grads will be on hand to answer any questions you may have. Up next, in May, we will have the reps from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona. They will share their school's information on, on May 3rd. Seniors, remember to pick up your cap and gowns next week on April 24th during lunch in the auditorium. Your order must be paid in full and you should bring a picture ID to get your stuff. Also, if you did not pick up your announcement orders last week, check with Mrs. Abeda. She'll take care of you. Two more announcements for seniors. First, Senior Awards Night is a night to celebrate your accomplishments. Please bring in all of your college acceptance letters, scholarships, grants, and all other awards letters you have received, even if you're not accepting them. The Counseling Center wants to assure you get credit you deserve. Second, seniors. It is critical for you to clear any conditions in fees you owe before graduation so you can receive your diploma. See Mrs. Grandizio in the business office to clear those fees. For underclassmen, you too should check Infinite Campus to determine if you are on conditions and get those fees paid before the end of the year so you can get your grades. And now we're throwing it to Miss Betsy in the cafeteria to find out what's for lunch today and tomorrow. Happy Monday everybody. Welcome back after a nice weekend, huh? Okay, let's uh, have a cheeseburger for lunch today and a chicken quesadilla on Tuesday. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, you need to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. If you owe money, please clear this too before graduation or final exams. Juniors, CMS testing will take place tomorrow, Tuesday, April 17th. Most students will be in the lab, so check the list in the halls to find out where you will be seated for the testing. Glads, the library is giving away free books if you love reading and want to grow your personal library. Check them out on the free book cart. See Miss HK for details. It's Spirit Week and prom closes out the week. So when we come back, we'll have more information of events happening you might want to attend this week. But first, here's Danny Robinson with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Daniel Robinson with your Gladiator Sports Update. It's a spirit week and today is Miracle Day. We're kicking off this week with the dodgeball tournament in the small gym at lunch today. Come check out matches to see who will be moving on. The top two teams will be squaring off the championship on Friday at the Prom Assembly. Come check it out. The Powder Puff game is this Wednesday, April 18th, and it kicks off with the tailgate at 4 p.m. behind Foster Stadium. Purchase your barbecue tickets in room 103 for only $3 so you can enjoy a hot dog, chip, and a drink. Bring a little extra cash for a Kona Ice Snow Cone. The game starts at 5 p.m. Ladies, remember volleyball open gyms are every Wednesday and in Bowers Gym from 315 to 415 until May. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Cheer trials will be happening next week on April 24th through the 26th in the small gym from 530 to 8 p.m. Pick up a tryout packet in the front office. The Ultimate Frisbee team had two matches over the weekend and, and here's how they did. Our ladies tennis teams are back on the court this afternoon at CSS at 4 p.m. We'll have scores for you on Wednesday. The boys swim and dive team was at Cheyenne Mountain High School over the weekend and here are their results. The boys continue to make strong showings at their meets. The boys are back in the pool tomorrow against Pueblo South at home at 5.30. In baseball news, the Skyview Storm over their weekend and here are their results. The boys are on the road tomorrow afternoon to play the Harrison Panthers at Harrison at 4 p.m. The Gladiator track team is traveling to the Mitchell Invite this afternoon. This meet was rescheduled from the weekend. In soccer news, our ladies take on Purple School tomorrow at 4 p.m. at home. Come out and cheer on the ladies to another victory. And finally, Spirit Week continues and tomorrow's theme is Twin Day. Wednesday is Fashion Disaster Day, Thursday is Dress to Impress Day, and Friday is Color Wars Day. Freshmen, your color is black. Sophomores, your color is gray. Juniors, your color is white. Seniors, your color is blue. And teachers, please wear your staff shirt from this year. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Daniel Robinson. Now back to you, Moose and Dylan. Thanks, Dan. Glads, if you need help with the class, 
paper, or studying for a test, check out the NHS tutoring sessions, pick up a pass from the library on Thursday morning, then come back during advisory for your session. They will have computers available for these sessions. Juniors and seniors, the Masquerade Palm is Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. And tomorrow is the last day to buy your tickets. Remember, you cannot buy tickets at the door, so check with Miss Grandizio in the business office. Tickets are $50 per person. Don't get FOMO over prom. This is the last week to get your mask pre-approved before the dance. Bring your mask to Mrs. Molno in room 166 or Mrs. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday. But remember, your mask must be removable and cannot be full fixed. Also, wearing your mask in the ballroom area at the prom is perfect. But when we're in the general hotel area, including check-in, your beautiful faces must be completely visible. Ladies, you still have a few days left to shop Becca's Closet for your prom dress. See Miss HK in the library for an appointment. Remember, the dress is yours to keep. Finally, here are the prom king and queen candidates. Your queen nominees are Shaolin Barris, Cameron De Leon, Isabel Galvedon, Anna Montoya, and Courtney Stroop. And your king nominees are Cordell Cardenas, Isaac Gillette, Lucas Lacey, Markel Lambert, and Trey Pierre. Voting will take place tomorrow and Wednesday. Seniors, if you checked out materials from the library, remember to return them by next Thursday. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, your last day to check out materials is April 26th, and you must return them no later than May 10th. Finally, the annual high school artist showcase will be hung at the UMB Bank on Security Boulevard. The opening reception is on May 2nd from 5 to 7.30 p.m. Come check out the outstanding artwork our peers have created. That's all for our news today. I'm Moose Santos. I'm Dylan Mack, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.